How are you? You have all Zildjian symbols. Is there a particular reason? Yeah, for they are the oldest symbol maker on the planet. And to me, they sound the best. I've always used Zildjian. Um, and uh, yeah, I like the people at Zildjian. I love them all. And, uh, and the, the great thing is they do sound very good. And if you, uh, if you nurture them, not that I do, but there's a certain man called Charlie Watts I know who nurtures symbols. What does that involve? Well, in the words of um, Jim Keltner, Charlie will go and check out a few symbols, and he'll tap a few and he'll take them away, and then he puts them in a room to marinate them. So over the years then, Charlie will go back in and say, well, you already know. They actually do get better with time. It's actually true. Anything he does to the room, like keep it a certain kind of temperature or humidity or something? I don't know. Something? I don't know. I've never been to Charlie's house, <laughs> but, um, but Jim tells me that he marinates them, and I believe him. Years ago, I used to use Crut. Now, there's a make for it. K-R-U-T. And I had a, one, and I, and I drilled a hole in it, put a nail through it, just to have it as a kind of raw rivet symbol. Because I saw um, Mick Fleetwood have one of them in 1967 in a bank called Fleetwood Mac, and um, I just like that that rough sound too. I've got a rivet symbol, but it's more of a sort of tiny pebbles on the beach type of sound, mm -hmm. rather than a dirty old nail.